As a young girl, the fields were mine We played hide and seek for hours Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl doing over here? We're just driving. You're just driving? Yeah. Who has a driver's license? Um, this. Does Bella have a driver's license? Yeah. Or do you? Huh? Uh oh, you dropped your glass, bud. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. I know, these were all green last week. Savo's one to give him more water. Look at you guys, I see the smile, you're so proud. <laughs> we heard it all. I did, Bella, I did. Come on. Yeah. Oh, hi. Go can, you, can you share a little bit of what, what happened up here? Uh, yeah, we have, we're in hillbilly heaven right now. <laughs> We've got water, we've been able to fix the pump. We strapped the catchment system down, we pumped it. Now we're just gonna give it a little chlorine. We're gonna test the system here, and we've got the rig. It works, so oh my God. we could go back down. This is both those catchments are almost filled, so we could be able to test the system. So maybe later when we go down for a swim, we'll park this down, and then we have water down there, so we're not exactly draining sables. But that's another wow. Show me what you got there, girl? Some blackberries and raspberries. Oh, oh my gosh! So I we... think we saw. Some blueberries, we're not sure because they could be poison blueberries. Yeah, we don't know yet. We got to look it up. But for all the years that I've been coming here, almost 20 years, I have always known about the raspberries, but I had no idea that we had blackberries too. And we just saw something that actually looked like blueberries too, so we might have all the berries. Next time we come, we should make a pie. Show them. Okay. All right, Linz, show everybody from the world where. They look like blueberries to me. Yeah, they do. I don't know, world. What do you think? Does anybody know anything about wild blueberries? Literally, all of this over here. So these are blackberries as well. No, these ones are raspberries. No, they are. All of these ones over here are blackberries. They go all the way up there, and they're just wild. They're just here. Like, we could literally forage for days and not make a dent. Look at how amazing these are. For breakfast, we can have this. They're literally everywhere. This is like a kid's wildest dream to come and uh, just oh, no. forage for berries. Mm -hmm. Over there is like another landing, so this is we're staying on like the second landing of the property. This is the third landing of the property. And then there's a fourth landing where we usually stay or where we used to stay. But it is next to the water. And uh, since we, we all have small kids, we decided that it would be better to be away from the water. Check out our tall pines. They are probably 60, 70 feet up there. They're so tall. And we are really living our best lives up here and since my father-in-law gave us the go-ahead to like really make it into something that you know we want to come here all the time we are putting our best feet forward and uh we really are doing our best to make this place as homey as possible and we only have a few weeks left of summer here in ontario because it doesn't it only lasts eight weeks but next year 
we are guaranteed to be up here like every single weekend celebrate everything up here instead of doing what we usually do because we have tons of projects that we want to do the boys have boy projects they want to do the girls have girl projects they want to do and we're all just so excited to be building and like making it really our home so stay tuned for all the things okay it is mid-afternoon what time is it actually oh it's three o'clock Good job, honey. Cool, come show me. So it is around three o'clock and we decided it's time to take a little bit of a lunch break. What did you find, Luna? <gasps> wow, Luna found blackberries. Auntie Bear made her this cool little catcher of tape and sticks and rubber bands so that she can go looking for things. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go catch some later and put them in the, the buckets that I got. I gotta make lunch for us now. So I'm about to start prepping lunch. We are going to do such for dinner, so we'll probably start that as well. And uh, for lunch, we are gonna have Sloppy Joe's in my brand new Lodge cast iron skillet that I got for $15.99 at the, the Value Village, which is like our uh, local um, thrift store. So I went thrifting for this, I cleaned it, I seasoned it at home, and now I am ready to use it. Good morning friends, day three. Kids are helping Tata make a fire so I can make breakfast this morning. Mavi, are you helping to pick up sticks? No. no? I'm putting the, fire, the bigger fire fit. Oh, and the pine that, needles? Yeah. Yeah, that helps, doesn't it? Yeah, it did. Last yeah. Well, That's the fire fan. Are you fanning the fire? No. No. <laughs> Time to make some breakfast. Thank you. Oh my god! Where did he come from? I didn't see that guy. The one. So cool? Yeah. This cool little caterpillar we just found. I think he's a caterpillar. I don't know for sure, but he's really cool. He is a caterpillar. Yeah? He's going to turn into a poison butterfly. A poison butterfly. Got us over here making the bacon. Anything that is made on this griddle by the, the fire has come out so freaking amazing. We've cooked burgers, we've cooked chicken, we've cooked queso, all kinds of stuff over the fire and it tastes so good off of this. And then over here, ah, uh, that's okay. I have a Brillo pad to, to get it. Get it. Yeah. Okay, I'll just put it on your kitchen for now. Um, we set up a little kitchen area over here. Well, a, a dishwashing station 
Auntie Bear and Uncle Moose brought this cool five gallon thing with a pump and now we're able to get the water from up at the cottage and then they also brought this sink with little sink stoppers so we have like a full-blown dishwashing station over here which has been very very helpful we also just set up this cool thing Auntie Bear bought um, it's like a camp shower but it has we always need something just to like rinse our glasses in between making cocktails so this has been the perfect little addition to the camp kitchen you're cooking girl Tata, look at your angel. She's cooking. Yes. Look at her learning life skills. No, let's just play a boy instead of a boy. Okay. Still got your pearls hanging by my bed. It is midday. Um, we finished up a few projects as you guys saw up at the cabin and we decided since it's so hot today, it's probably the hottest day that we have been here, that we would come down to where we usually camp that you guys have seen in all my other camping vlogs um, and go for a swim. So we are actually on a river. The property is on a river and it flows nicely. We've got a nice sandbar in the middle of the river where we can just like sit and hang out and uh, have some cocktails. We got our dog Hudson here. He's taking a swim. The kids are so excited. And our best friends brought uh, a swimming like mat platform type thing. So they're just linking that up right now. So we have a little bit of a platform to play with as well. It has been such a great weekend already and it's just it's just continuing to be good so excited okay tell me what you're making luna I'm making you're making what fashion. you're making fashion yeah. keep it on here wow it's fashion it's fashion yeah Blue the colors. is it gonna be like rainbow colors yeah it is a rainbow wow that is so cool, dude. Watch your pants, Mavi. <laughs> 